Uh, that's a very, very good question. Uh, I haven't learned anything, actually. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I have learned, well, personally, I, I think that how powerful and how destructive ego can be. It destroys itself. It, it, it destroys its hosts, you know, um, and, it, it's a, and it feeds, it needs to feed. And an ego isn't necessarily a, a horrible thing because without it, we don't really learn. Um, as far as the, you know, the lessons that come from the mistakes we make. So there's, there's that. I, <laughs> you know, the older I get, this is kind of slightly on a separate note, but to your question, the older I get, my list of unforgivable acts gets smaller and smaller. And I'm glad about that. You know, when, when I was younger, I was like, I'll, n- I'll never talk to that person again. Oh, I'll never just whatever for what they did or what they said and so on. And as I get older, I realize I don't have the energy to hold those types of grudges anymore. So, and I'm glad. So I think, one, one, another thing that I've learned is that how, how, how beautiful, how difficult, and how necessary forgiveness is. Even in the smallest moments and, and grudges. So I, I, I try to practice that. And I see so many, so the, the, the power of no, you know, that, that is important for many different reasons. Um, you know, being able to say no to things and being able to accept no in the right instances because I almost never accept no and I like that you know I think if someone says no I think they just haven't seen the whole picture yet so it's my job to learn their language and t- and, until we come to some place where we both feel like there's been a yes